Hello, today we're going to take a look at moving an asset in Maximo 7.5. We've logged into a, a managerial dashboard today. As you can see, we're looking at uh, quick topics to go and click on our favorite applications. You can see um, active work request or move request that may be in the system. They're charting capability of you know overdue work orders or move orders in the system um, so we're, we're going to take a look at actually moving the asset if we go to the go to pull down and look at the application for a, a service desk and creating a service request ticket it'll launch a form that we can go in it knows who we are we're a requester logging in to initiate a request for a movement of an asset so we'll click on the asset you can filter this down to all the assets in the system this list is just filtered down to the ones that are assigned to this particular uh, logged in user so I'll select on the computer that we want to move and give it a, a requester assign priority we'll click on a classification of what type of service this that they are requesting so it's facility move and you can see once we click that it fills in the summary information on the left hand side uh, and you can put in some more details down at the bottom once you have that filled out you can just easily hit the submit button and that submits the request you can see that the, the the service request has been created you can either view the details or create another one right now we're going to go back to the start center and this is now the request was created now a, a supervisor or a move coordinator is notified uh, that there's a request either by the dashboard or email and they can go in and look at the service request okay we'll filter down to that service request that we just created and click on the record you can see it's got some details uh, that are that have already been entered and you can uh, add additional information here on giving it a uh, internal priority and assigning it to a service group so that it will show up in their queue and they can actually do make you know make the move happen so we'll look, assign it to facility move services and you can select outside vendors for this in, uh, example we're going to use a internal uh, vendor to, to the internal resources to move that asset and then you can even select uh, estimated target dates or when you want the move to happen. So put that in their calendar. If I go back up and save this record, you can see the record saved. And now we're going to turn this into a move order. So we'll select the action to go in and create a work order for this ticket. You can see by the message up at the top that our move order was created. So we'll go into the work order tracking. And now we'll find our work order and actually ex execute the move. We'll filter it down. You can see it's in Office 401 currently. And you can see the details behind our, our work order. And if I click the action pull down, you can see there's a, a move, swap, or modify action. We'll click on that. That brings up a, a dialog box that lets us go and select a new location. So if I go to the location where that uh, computer is going to be moved to, I filter it down to office and I can select office 304 it's it, this is the the new move to location you can also go up to the top and change the 
uh, user uh, affiliation, if that's the custodian or the owner or who's responsible for that piece of equipment. So you can actually change that now by creating a new row if it's a new person or uh, adjusting what that person is assigned, you know, what role he's assigned as. So if I hit on the execute now, you can see that this uh, asset was moved. And so and you see the message. What we're going to do now is go into the asset itself and review that new location and the details of that asset. So we'll go to the assets application and filter down to that particular computer. And you can see that it is new and now it's located in Office 304. We'll open up the details and you can see the location has been updated. So anybody looking at for this asset on a floor plan or the ownership of that asset would be updated. 